there, welcome to the fourth and possibly final round. Um, I've won the roll for the first time, and I'm going to choose a play, obviously. And I'm also going to choose to keep this, because his hand's fairly good, so I would not like to mulligan. You get to make a massive mem knight as well. There he is. He's going to shrink a bit, though, as soon as I'm making. Getting ready for the massive mem knight. I never really understood the mem knight picture. What's going on on that? Anyway, make a massive mem knight. Bam. Let's hold it there for a bit, and then let's shrink it. And pass the turn. I do like how Modo does that. It's weird, it doesn't do it for lands, but when you make a creature that's the only creature on the board, or like if any number of creatures, if you have creatures and not lands, the creatures are huge, but it doesn't apply to lands, I'm not, so, I'm not sure why. But yeah, it is nice to make massive mem knights. Um, Signal Pest is a dud, so let's hope he doesn't have Spell Pierce. He doesn't. And let's bash him. You do kind of need to get these draws against Blue White to beat them. I did say this game goes late game quite well in one of the early rounds, but obviously it's rare to win. By that I mean. Some decks against blue white control, you get to a point where you're just not winning. This deck can still win, but you would prefer to win in the early game. And this is why I don't like Mem Knight. But I do like Temper still. So let's get that down there before he can counter it. And give him a little bit of bashy bashy. Hope he doesn't have the Oblivion Ring and the Day of Judgment. That would be bad for us. Sorry about that, I paused and forgot to come back, but basically he oblivioning my tempered steel. As is expected, really. Um, so now is the question of, do I make a signal post? And yeah, I'm, I'm not scared of Day of Judgment. I want to go for it. Signal post doesn't do a whole lot post Day of Judgment anyway, so... I'm just going to run it out there. And hope it doesn't get killed. Give him a cheeky little 4 for 1. No, 3 for 1. No judgement this turn, which is good. He might as well have a removal for the Glint Hawk Idol there. Yep, he does. How freaking lucky. Now I'm back to dealing him 2 damage a turn. Do I run that spell sky out there or do I run that vault scourge out there? I think I'm going to make vault scourge next turn. I think I'm at the point of just hope he doesn't have anything. And again, I might as well just run them all out there. Spell sky's only getting an extra 1 damage in, so I don't think I need to. I mean, it does quicken a clock by turn, but that's assuming he just does nothing over the next few turns, which is obviously unlikely. Well, he doesn't have the second white by the looks of it. Venser. Okay. There's an interesting one. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to attack Marco. And I'm thinking, no, I probably should have played that spell sky. I think at this point I'm going to play it, because I'm not going to beat... If he does have Day of Judgment, I'm not going to beat Pencer, so... I will just have to go for it and hope he doesn't have it. Need a Tempered Steel next turn. Then everything is fine. Spreading Seas is fine, it means I can activate my spell sky for free. Still doesn't have his second white. 
A dispatch would do it now, to be honest. Dispatch or dismember would be insta kill, assuming he doesn't have a condemn. Obviously, dismember wouldn't do it for him, so. I don't know how many condemns he runs. He might not even run any in the main deck. With four Oblivion Ring, I'm not sure if you need them. And we didn't get there. Never mind. But let's keep attacking Marco. Put him on one. Yeah, and I really should have made that spell sky turn earlier. Another misplay. I should have just thought through it for a while. And done the correct thing. Because, I mean, a spell sky post air judgment isn't going to do anything. I was just thinking if I draw a tempered steel, then, you know, I might be fine. But tempered steel with no creatures is not a whole lot different to tempered steel with one creature, especially when he's got so many lands and a wall of omens. And I suppose you wouldn't have the wall, but still unlikely to win. And obviously I might even just not draw the Tempered Steel, so... He's not doing anything. I guess he's about to tell me in the chat that I'm about to get murked. No, he's doing something. Into the Royal, maybe. Into the Royal with Kicker. Just to draw into that Plains. I guess it means he doesn't have the Plains. I think we can assume here he does have Day of Judgment, just no second White Source. I like the Patreon Vault Scourge. Angry Bug. Don't really like the Patreon Signal Pest. Um, yep, no point in changing the target. Oh, I suppose that means that it wouldn't have been lethal anyway, because he would have bounced it. So I can rest easy there. And he's got his planes. So, yeah, we lose. Yeah, he's going to go ultimate next turn, so I think, or do I? He doesn't actually have any flies. If I draw a fly, I might still get there. Signal Pest is not a flyer, so yeah, he's just going to go ultimate and wreck me. So, GG. Um, usual boarding, in come the shrines, out come the dismember, the dispatch, and yeah, I'm going to stick with Mem Knights. I think three dispatch is the right number, he says. One life, still one. No, 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 no. <laughs> Standard Marcos. Oh, let's play first, and yeah, this is the keeper. Need that third land, but otherwise, it's a very good hand. There's just the question of, do we play turn 2 Thopter, or turn 2 Tempered Steel? Uh, sorry, turn 2 Spell Sky, because that way it opens up the path for turn 3 Tempered Steel without getting countered, but because I didn't draw the land, I think I'm just going to get the damage in and not rely on um, drawing the land next turn. I don't have that many lands in the deck, so I can't really rely on it. I'm more likely to not draw a land than I am to draw a land. And, yeah, that worked out, because I didn't draw the land. It's just that now we've got the question, Glinthawk or Vault Scourge. And I think I'd rather go the Glinthawk here, because it's down guaranteed damage, and it kind of has the same effect. Like, if he's going to Oblivion Ring or counter something, it's going to be Glinthawk, so yeah, it draws the removals, which is what we want, so that worked out fine. And now it's time to try out a tempered steel. And it resolves. Good for me. Now he day of judgments and we're back to square one. Although we do have a tempered steel in play, so that's not entirely accurate. And we drew the land, which is good. it means we can actually play all our stuff and still have dispatch open so if only that was a mem knight eh? <laughs> never mind ha 
How freaking lucky. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a good matchup for the blue-white control deck. Um, it's just a question of how do we improve it, I guess. So I keep beating blue-white control decks in like the two-man queues, but obviously they're not played by the Stone Cold Master, Mark or Senior Jones. He's played three spells this game, and he's won, basically. But um, it's hard to know what the difference is. But I, will, I guess I'll try and come up with something in the text, so you'll have to go to MTG UK anyway. And, um, yeah. I'm, I'm talking as so I've lost this game already, which I pretty much have. I think. I don't think I can come back from this. But yeah, you just need to think, how is this different? Ooh. I'm just going to attack him here. Bash, bash, bash. You're dead. I think that's all I need to do here. That is now my plan for the game. If only I had a Memnite instead of a Dispatch. And there goes my creature. Thanks for playing. Good games. See you next time. Just for the extra robins. Let's play it out anyway. Rawr. My artifacts are very angry. This deck needs a Cloud Goat Ranger that makes artifacts. Basically, Shrine. He's saying nice tempered steels in the chat. And they are. Thank you very much. Stack them together. Nope. Only those two will go together. Put a Mox on top. Yeah, I'm not sure what I could draw here. Unless he just doesn't have spells. There's a Memnite. So unless if he just doesn't have a spell next turn, I might win. If not, probably not. But I think it's safe to say if this dispatch were a Memnite, I would have won. So some boarding. Well, learning how to board here, I think. We just bought out two, dispa two dispatch and uh, yeah, load up on creatures. Because that has happened in a lot of games where I've drawn the dispatch and I didn't want it. He's attacking here, so I guess that means he does have the spell. I'm going to do this and hope it messes him up. If he's got like an oblivion ring, this might mean he can't cast it. Nope, he's got the land. He might have like a Jace though. There's his emblem. See if he can use it. Yeah, he can. How oh, lucky. Yeah, he's got another Oblivion Ring. My plan almost got him, but not quite. What's he doing? Oh, he removed his own oblivion ring. What a clever chap. <laughs> it means the signal pest isn't even lethal, so that actually worked out pretty well for him. The, the zero power guy comes off the top. What has happened there? Oh, we removed a bloom ring to get me back here. I was just trying to work out he vented. Some stuff appeared on the board and I was thinking about something else. So. There goes my signal pest. And there goes my life. GG.